Apple stocks are under pressure along with the rest of the market. The Away ETF down more than 2%, uh, more than 8% this week. Seema Modi has a look at the biggest decliners in the group in today's session. Seema. And John, you might just blame AMC for the move in cruise lines. According to Patrick Scholes at Truist Securities, he says the mean trade failure along with low liquidity and concerns ahead of Jackson Hole are pressuring the group. Royal Caribbean, uh, Carnival, Norwegian all down and are among the most shorted names in travel, down about 4% today after closing down by a similar amount on Friday currently on track for their worst three-day run in a month. And it comes as all three cruise lines have removed COVID testing protocols and other requirements which analysts say will widen the pool of its customer base, but also increasing concerns about travel budgets going into the fall. UBS today writing that U.S. consumers are increasingly feeling their standard of living has decreased and they are not saving enough to meet future needs. Take a look at the hotel stocks, Marriott, Hilton, Hyatt, all three Beat Street estimates this earnings season, down about 1% to 2%, as are the rate-sensitive hotel REITs, the real estate investment trusts like Pebblebrook and Host Hotels, as we watch yields tick a bit higher. Uh, and we also see that the vacation rental names, Expedia, Airbnb, and Booking John, also caught up in today's sell-off. Back uh, to you. Did, are these names benefiting at the same time over the last few weeks from energy prices easing off? I mean, I, I know that that, at least on the margin side, might be good for some airlines. Yeah, absolutely. Among the groups within travel that benefit from lower gas prices, oil prices are, of course, the cruise lines. They uh, consume a lot of fuel to stay uh, to stay sailing across the sea. So certainly one group that benefits from lower oil prices, um, as do the hotels, those that have, a have uh, hotels in locations that are drive-to destinations, for sure, uh, John. So yes. Absolutely. Yeah, I should have said oil. But yeah, gas for driving, for sure. Seema, thank you.